we're gonna start this month off right because Talita's in the house tonight hey 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 y'all can I tell y'all I'm pumped because it's March y'all and it's my birthday month I'm excited y'all I'm grateful I'm thankful I thank God every day that I wake up. I thank him for my family, my friends, just being blessed in general, you guys. So yes, it's my birthday month. If you didn't know, my birthday is March 10th. So y'all, it's March 1st and I'm pumped y'all. Hey, hey. Cause y'all, if y'all haven't been to the DMV, Y'all better get here because we like to party. Hey, hey, hey. So y'all just having a little bit of fun because I woke up feeling good and blessed as I always do y'all. Thank you Jesus. So y'all I'm going to start off my birthday month with a little gift. I'll be unboxing that gift with you today. But you know the drill you guys before we get into any of that. Let's do a little bit of housekeeping just in case you're interested. So starting off with my face today, you guys, I used the Oldie But Goody Foundation from House Labs. Y'all, I have just about used this foundation completely up. I am getting the rest of the little bit out. So here it is right here. I mean, it's all the way down to here. I have just a little bit left. So I'm going to use what's left of this. This is one of my really heavy hitter go-to ones, like my Chanel one that I would use every day, just because it just feels like there's nothing on my skin. I don't like a foundation to feel cakey and thick. Um, so yeah. I love House Labs for that, you guys, and it gives you such a nice radiance to your face. I really like that as well. But yeah, so I'm going to finish using this until Sephora has this sale and gives me a 20% off, and then I'm just going to purchase another one of these because I love it, y'all. I love it that much. So that is what I have on my face today. If you are my complexion, my shade is 330 Cool. So that's what's on my face today, y'all. And so next on my eyes today, y'all, <laughs> I went in colorful as you can see this is from that collection that I unboxed with you from Chanel it's their latest collection that whole water collection so that collection was just like their spring summer collection that gives you like their really like oceany vibe and spring vibe on top of that. So I shared with you in a previous um, housekeeping, the blue palette, which was called Rivage. This one here is called Coral Treasure and it's number 88. There it is right there, but I will link it below for you just in case you're interested. So let me show you what all these beautiful bright colors look like so hopefully you can see that right there so let me just tell you I did use all the shades just for the purpose of the video so you could see how it looks on me but I went in with this deeper orange shade right here all into my crease then I put this light orange here all over my lid then in my inner tear duct, I put this shimmery pink in my inner tear duct. And then this pink right here, which is more of a matte kind of satiny pink, I put that on my outer corner of my eye, trying to like give it like this ombre feel as 
I'm mixing the colors in. You don't have a lot of variation with this palette. I think they could have put maybe like another shade instead of these two oranges in there. But anywho, this is the palette. So that's what I created my look with today. And let me just say too, with these shades, the way they are pressed in this pan, you would definitely want to use a natural hairbrush. It will pick up the product more. I use my Sonia G. The other thing that you can do that is really good is the sponges that comes with the palette. You see mine's are taken out, but the ones that come with it, the two little sponges, they apply these shadows perfectly. They're kind of hardly pressed in the pan, so you do have to pick it up with something that's going to pick up a lot of the product for you. But anyway, that's what's on my eyes today, and it's a beautiful palette. You definitely don't have to go ham like me and use all the colors and be as bright as I am. You could take like that deeper orange color and sweep it all over your lid and then put on a brown liner. It'll be perfect. And then as for my liner today, I put a little bit on the top and then I went in my waterline with this one and underneath my eyes as well. Is an oldie but goodie from MAC. And this is in the shade Coffee, which it looks like that. And it's this really, really deep brown, which I prefer a deep brown versus a black. It doesn't look as harsh on me. So that is what that looks like right there. So I use this as my liner today. And the next item as my mascara would be no surprise. Again, that Fenty Beauty mascara in hella thick that's all i've been rocking y'all sorry i had a little tickle in my throat so i had to take some water I'm drinking some water in here with my little ice with my stanley cup my little baby stanley cup y'all because that's what i gotta do off topic just really quick i just have to say y'all all y'all that carry that big Stanley cup with that handle, I don't know how y'all do it. That thing is heavy, especially if you're putting water and ice in it. At least to me, it's heavy, y'all. So I got to get the little baby ones. Yeah, those are the ones that I like. So I have this little baby 14 ounce one right here. And I have the 20 ounce one too that has the handle. I like to carry those when I'm going out or, you know, like to the gym and stuff like that because it has a little handle. But yeah, that's my little cup, y'all. Okay, back to housekeeping. Next on my cheeks today, another one from Chanel. This should be no surprise to you because I mentioned this one before. Here it is right here. It's that coral shade here from their fall winter collection, I think it was, with the snowflakes in it. I can't remember all these collections, but it's a recent one. They probably still have it on their website. If they do, I'll link everything I can below. You know I do that for you guys. So that's that beautiful coral shade. I have that on my cheeks. Then I have, as my highlighter, one from Tom Ford. Looks like this. It's this beautiful golden-y shade right here. It's a, like bronze and a gold mix to me. It's so, so beautiful, you guys. So I have that on my cheeks, my nose today, just my highlighting areas on my face. So yeah, I am wearing that today from Tom Ford. And then next, my lip combo, you guys. Y'all already know the liner. I shouldn't have to tell you that. It's Sweet Tea by Morphe. That's what it looks like. I always talk about this one. It is my go-to perfect liner. And then today on my lips, I'm just wearing a gloss, you guys. And it's by Patrick Ta. And this one is Is She Younger Than Me? 
she is and if i ain't y'all i'm gonna be today so <laughs> This is a beautiful glittery pink shade, very youthful shade. So I see where that name comes from. And it definitely looks like one of those lip glosses that you would wear in your youth. Very sparkly, very bright, pink. So cute, y'all. So that is what I have on my lips today. And then next on my ears today, I have my Chanel CC Studs from the Metiers Collection, which I absolutely love. Again, you've heard me say it before. I purchased this along with the matching brooch. Um, so yeah, they had a bigger style and then they had a stud when this collection came out. So you know me, I'm going to go for the little stud, and I did. So that is what's on my ears today. And then as for my wrist today, I'm just wearing my Louis Vuitton um, historic bracelet right here. So I have that on my wrist. And then on my neck today, I am just wearing this gold necklace with a lock on the end, and it has the initial T, which is my initial. So it's one of those initial necklaces. And I picked up this necklace from Amazon. So hopefully you can see that. That's the necklace up close. And then as for my blouse today, you guys, I am just wearing this oldie but goodie from Express. So you've seen this before and I have multiples of this same top. So yeah. That is the blouse I have on today. So next, you guys, my fragrance of today is one that I unboxed during Vlogmas. And it's from Dior. And it's the J'adore Auto Parfum. I love this. It's very light and pretty and girly type of fragrance, you guys. So if you like that in the fragrance, try the J'adore auto perfume out um they have different variations of the j'adore but this is the one that i gravitate and love the most so far <laughs> so yeah you guys that is what i'm wearing today i will put the notes up on the screen for you guys just in case you're interested in this one and then lastly as my bag of the day you guys i am wearing my YSL, what is this? Camera bag. My YSL camera bag um, in this lovely beige color with this antique gold hardware right here. So that's how it looks inside right now. All of my stuff is in here and it fits in here. And this one, you guys, is one of my favorites to wear. I have actually been contemplating buying another color because I love this one so much so yeah you guys that's what I'm wearing today and yeah I've been loving this bag and especially because I have the one with the back pocket on it where I can put my phone now so if you can recall when I first unbox this bag it was this same exact bag but it didn't have a back pocket and so what happened was i noticed like in the back part of the bag i don't know if it was because maybe it was rubbing up against me i don't know but i had a couple pop stitches that i didn't notice so i took it back in you guys so they actually told me at that time that they'll exchange the bag out for me However, they didn't have this exact same bag anymore. It's the newer version with the pocket on the back. And I thought, well, I would love that because I love pockets on the back of bags anyway. So it worked out, you guys. All in all, <laughs> this is my YSL camera bag. And so that does it for housekeeping today, you guys. Let's go straight into this unboxing. Today's item I'm going to unbox with you today is a gift from my husband. 
and it comes from Fendi, you guys. He ordered it from the website. So, let me just share with you what's in here. So, it comes with the receipt right here. Here is the lovely bag with the ribbon there. Inside comes this little box right here. And I do already know what it is. So there's a whole story behind it. So anyway, there is the box. So here is the tag information that comes with it. And to reveal. And so there they are, you guys. They are another pair of Fendi earrings. And I wanted a pair of rose gold hoop earrings because I don't have any rose gold ones in my collection. And so, there they are. I will show them to you up close. Let me just take this out. So, there you are right there. Hopefully, you can see that. Now, these are the smaller hoops, you guys, you know. I tell you, now at my age, I don't want the big hoops hanging on my ear. Trust me, been there, done that. In the 90s, y'all, I remember when me and my best friend, we used to go down Georgetown, and we used to get these big bamboo earrings, and we would get our name in it, and we would wear these big old bamboo earrings back in the 90s. Like I said, I've been there, done that. Now, in my older age, y'all, when it comes to hoops, I got to find little tiny hoops. That's my jam when it comes to hoops. So, yes, these are the smaller size ones. As you know, I have the Louis Vuitton ones as well. If you are interested in these... I will link them for you, but there's all the information right there. Just take a screenshot of that. If you recall, I had these in silver. And I say had because all I have now is one. And here it is right here. <laughs> I only have this one left because we were out one night and we were celebrating my sister's birthday. And y'all, we was turned up. Let me just say that. We was turned up. The drinks was given. Don't judge me, y'all. Pick somebody else. But I was having fun that night. Needless to say, when I got home, y'all, I got home with one earring. So I lost my earring in a nightclub somewhere along the way. Because, y'all, I was feeling nice and I was having a good time. And that's what that was. So, long story short, y'all, we had fun that night. My sister, my kids, my husband, everybody makes fun of me that night. And to be honest with you, I didn't remember quite that much that happened that night. Because, again, I was feeling nice. But when I woke up that next morning and realized I had lost one of my earrings, that was the topic of the day, y'all. So, they won't let me live that one down. But anyway, so now I have this lovely pair of rose gold ones. I will keep this silver one just for remembrance of that night. <laughs> but anyway, it was fun, y'all. We had a good time. Um, so, yeah. That was a gift from my husband, so <laughs> too funny just even thinking about it. But yeah, so y'all, my birthday is on the 10th, so I'll unbox something here on YouTube all the way up until the 10th. My special day, guys. And um, yeah. That is going to do it for today, you guys. Tune in tomorrow to see what I'll show you tomorrow. You know, all these companies, Sephora, they're giving you birthday gifts, Express, 
already put $40 in my account for um, my birthday as well. You know, you got Victoria's Secret, Kendra Scott, you know, all those companies that give you that extra bonus during your birthday. I take advantage. So, yeah, I'll share with you what I picked up. So, that's it, you guys, for today. I hope you enjoyed that little unboxing and so yeah if you're joining me for the first time today you guys my name is T to all my old deep but goodies that always rocking with your girl you know I love you and as always you guys thank you so so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye guys